How you going, Australia? It's Big Mike, and I'm doing a quick trailer reaction for you lot. As you guys can see, I'm rocking me Bogan realness. I got my new Moonlight poster hanging up. Well, it's an older poster, but it's in rotation. I don't think I've done a reaction to a trailer since Avatar from almost a year ago, I think it was. But I have been getting so many DMs about this John Farnham documentary, and well... To be honest, if it wasn't even for me talking about John Farnham to begin with, sadly not on the greatest terms to start off with, but things have changed and I've seen the light. So, speaking of, let's put on these earphones and let's see the trailer for the John Farnham documentary, Finding the Voice. This is my first time seeing this and I want to share it with you a lot. So, let's go. Music is so important to us. There was something about his voice that was just so appealing. His voice was incredible. He can heal you. People just worshipped him. It fills in the gap where religion should be. You feel their voice. Who the hell is this guy? It is a heroic story. It can go straight to somebody's heart. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Farnham. John, you are the best singer in the country. That's the voice. Either I was working or I was asleep. So when I was awake, I was vulnerable. People never really saw me as a credible singer. Do you like the old song? I remember coming off the stage one night and he punched the locker door and he smashed it in. She said, let's take Robert to McDonald's for dinner and I actually couldn't take them. We didn't have the money. He was pretty much broke. Do you ever get depressed at all? Yeah, a lot. I tried to get him a record deal and everybody passed. We lost track of John. His spectacular voice was missing in action. The story of Glenn's belief in John is legendary. This was John's almost audition to the world again. My publishing company said, John Farnham has recorded You're the Voice. Is it OK to give him permission? And I said, no. We went ahead and did it anyway. Really, they weren't supposed to record it, but they did. And he sang the living hell out of that song. <laughs> awesome. And that became the one. He went to number one in West Germany this week, number one in Sweden, roaring up the French and Italian charts. God, he's found his voice. That's just dangerous. He won't surrender. You don't like to think of yourself as a legend, but you are. Oh boy. That looks sensational. And it comes out May 18th today is April 12th and oh man I really hope we get this here in the United States I really do luckily I live in LA so there's a good possibility because usually New York and LA get most everything film related but um Seeing that trailer, just those two minutes and change, just, you know, hearing them talk about how, you know, he basically was re-auditioning again. People didn't take him credibly as a singer and um, not to go too far back because I know we've moved on from that, but just a little reopening, you know, another little exhuming of something from the grave so to speak i just i do confess i have a lot of regrets in my life and to think i was so cruel and moronic trying to be so against type and being so critical, hypercritical, as someone said, and it still sticks with me, saying that that song sounded like Christian rock and how the lyrics are just too repetitive. 
but he has a good voice, and he does. And then seeing that live version, to such night and day, such an awakening. And then delving in, it's it's a good story, you know, for him and seeing this. And it's, and I'm not trying to sound too melodramatic here, but it, reading those comments from you guys and thinking it through and taking the advice, it's really helped me a lot to not just judge a book by its cover and to not be such a dick. Like I said, if you watch my first five videos, particularly that one and, you know, uh, Beds Are Burning by Midnight Oil, uh, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, or uh, Tarzan Boy from Baltimore, you'll notice a whole different change in attitude. Because... I just took the time to listen and not try to be so awful or a contrarian like I was. And just my personality and everything, it's just, it's, sorry, I'm, I'm going on way too long with this. My, my point is, is that um, this looks like a good documentary. I'm glad that I've just shut my mouth and listened and just, I don't know. I'm just happy that ultimately over this past year and some change, getting to know and love and appreciate who he is as an artist. I'm glad that this is the right time because since I've become a big fan of his, now I get to see even more in depth into his life. And that was just a taste. And I know it's going to be a great documentary. I really, really hope we get this here. Because you better believe I'll be there opening day. Well, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching my trailer reaction to John Farnham finding the voice. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope we get to see this soon enough. So... Thank you so much for watching again, and thank you once more for introducing me to John Farnham, everyone out there in Australia. You guys are such an amazing lot. You really are. Take care, you guys.